Hello, my name is Jim and welcome to Olin Nemac. The other day I put out a video describing the DRO upgrade I made for my South Bend 9 inch lathe and I shared a little bit about what I did. In this video I want to dig into the details, lots of them. Um, the reason is, is if you're like me, I like to see things from every angle and from above, below, all of it, uh, as I'm trying to figure out uh, what somebody else has done. So I put together a, a video which primarily was just a series of shots that I made as I took the whole thing apart for the last time to paint it and in the process because my memory's failing I just took I videoed and took still shots of everything from the prototype all the way to bare bones and then finally showing it all back together uh, that along with the first video um, if somebody really wants to make this just about all the details necessary are there now one other thing I want to say is right off the bat I talk about buying a new nut for the cross slide I thought that was why I had some slop in the uh, or backlash in my uh, cross slide system and there perhaps was some but it turns out that wasn't it the real culprit was in play uh, just because there was some gaps in the the train of the screw and the other components and I fixed that using something that I learned on the South Bend 9 inch lathe group on Facebook and I recommend you take a look uh, you can go to if you get to that group you can search for posts by a gentleman named Dennis Turk and on September 14th, 2021, he posted uh, some information about the cross slide lead screw upgrade. And what he does is talks about making some modifications to the lead screw and also uh, another component, uh, installing thrust bearings that will uh, help it be nice and smooth and take up any slop. I followed those instructions so plus the new nut uh, there is almost zero backlash in my system it's really nice so I encourage you checking that out. Now the rest of the video here you're just gonna see uh, me talking about putting in the new nut and you can see how I milled it to uh, fit my design um, I show how I take everything apart and so if you work your mind works like mine you should be able to see how everything goes together and comes apart and in the end uh, you know if if this is something you want to do I think there pretty much is enough information there I would encourage you if there's a detail that you'd like to know about to put a comment in the video and I will get back to you if there's a measurement or whatnot uh, that would be helpful. I'd be, be glad to provide it. So check it out. Like I said, there's just lots and lots of details that I took, first of all, for my own benefit, but now I hope it will benefit you. So let's go. A few months back, I designed and installed a DRO for my South Bend 9 inch lathe. It incorporates two eye-gauging DROs, one for the carriage axis and one for the cross slide. And I now have decided that I'm going to take it all apart because I want to replace the, the nut that is for the cross slide. The original one, once I got everything back together, I realized there was about 40 thousandths of slop in it. Um, I don't intend to replace the screw. I'm right now hoping and assuming that uh, most of the slop is in the nut. It's really an exercise just for my own uh, enjoyment because uh, the DRO is, tells me exactly the position 
of things and it uh, is independent of anywhere in the cross slide screw. But I'm gonna do it anyways. And I'm gonna show you along the way uh, how this thing can, comes apart. And I have to do a modification on that nut and then I'm gonna put it all back together. And hopefully for those of you that are interested in this modification or addition to your south bend, uh, it'll be helpful. So here we go. Here's a view from the back side before I begin my disassembly process. Now I'm starting to get it apart. Uh, I'm now to the DRO sensor and scale. And the scale is attached to the top slide, uh, this piece, with a single 440 screw, which I uh, put some Loctite on it. And I was a little concerned that that screw might be loose, loosen up over time. But, you know, as I got this thing apart, I can tell just grabbing this thing that it's it's still well ad, well attached and, and not coming loose so that gives me confidence that in the long haul uh, this this design is going to hold up and uh, give accurate as accurate as the device can give uh, readings it's not going to get sloppy or anything like that so I'm going to continue my disassembly have helped if I'd loosened the gib screws. I'll loosen them before I put it back together. So there's the scale and the reader. Here's the nut that I'm going to replace, which I've got to do some machining on one end of the new nut in order to uh, get the clearance, which uh, I'll be showing in a bit. You can see I had to mill a little notch out uh, to have clearance here for the scale and where I attached it to the top of the cross slide. The new one will need uh, that same treatment and then I can put it all back together. This is the underside of the cross slide, the top piece, and I milled this pocket out just a little bit. I would say I may have taken 50 thousandths out. There's still plenty of stock, but that gave me clearance for the reader to be able to move back and forth. And uh, so, and then that's the little 440 screw I mentioned, which I drilled and tapped and have held in place with Loctite. I did a test fit with the new nut and I was all concerned at first because it was extremely tight out at the end, but in the middle it turns fine. I'm uh, reasoning that uh, out at the end is where that screw has gotten very little wear. 
So that can be part of the reason is the screws a little, is it worn out there? And then the other thing is not, the more I run it back and forth, uh, I can tell it's loosening up as it wears in a little bit. Didn't take much, but uh, I'm glad that I checked it before I got it all assembled. Just running and in and out several times seems to uh, have really helped a lot. And uh, so no worries about the new uh, cross slide nut. And we'll go on to my operation to uh, machine it.